you will see the officers struggle with Mr. Floyd to get him out of the Mercedes Benz and handcuffed. And you will see and hear everything that these officers and Mr. Floyd say to each other. The evidence will show that when confronted by police, Mr. Floyd put drugs in his mouth in an effort to conceal them from the police. And you will learn that Derek Chauvin did exactly what he had been trained to do over the course of his 19-year career. The use of force is not attractive, but it is a necessary component of policing. The evidence will again demonstrate that the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension conducted two searches of Squad 320. You will learn that in the second search of Squad 320, agents recovered several pieces of partially dissolved pills. You will learn that these pills were again analyzed, were again shown to be consistent or similar to the pills found on the Mercedes-Benz, and that they contained methamphetamine and traces of fentanyl. Moreover, these pills contained the DNA and saliva of George Floyd. What was Mr. Floyd's actual cause of death? The evidence will show that Mr. Floyd died of a cardiac arrhythmia that occurred as a result of hypertension, his coronary disease, the ingestion of methamphetamine and fentanyl, and the adrenaline throwing, flowing through his body, all of which acted to further compromise an already compromised heart. At the conclusion of this evidence, you will be instructed as to the law, the elements of the offense, and the court will give you detailed instructions on what you must find to convict Mr. Chauvin of these charges. But when you review the actual evidence, and when you hear the law and apply reason and common sense, there will only be one just verdict, and that is to find Mr. Chauvin not guilty.